Hello. So I'm going to be driving a little careful today because we've got freezing rain and I've already been ice skating. I went to start my mom's car and beside of it, it was frozen. So I got my trusty walking stick here to maneuver in the parking lot. Cause that's the worst part is, well, I won't say that's the worst part, but that's a bad part. At least in here, I do have the car protecting me. You're in the parking lot, you don't have nothing protecting you when you're walking. So thank you so much for all the prayers and support and your kind words. It really meant a lot to me. She is doing better. I mean, she's fine as far as we can tell. I mean, the scan was clear. Let's cut these off for a second. The scan was clear and um, she has a little, little bitty knot here, but he said as long as it was on the outside, didn't need to worry. So when it was on the inside, worry. But she said it was gone down today. And of course she's like, oh no, that's, and I'm like, quit being paranoid. She's having no dizzy spells. Cause he told her she could have some dizzy spells because a light concussion will not show up. Well, they must've stopped the school buses cause the school bus sitting here. So I bet they, they grounded them a bit. They said there's some wrecks on 421. Anyway, he told her that a light concussion would probably not show up on a scan. So she had some dizzy spells, not to worry about it, that it should go away in a couple of days. And today is her birthday. So she's 81 today. And then para paramedics, they, uh, they were having a trip because she was cooking breakfast when this happened and she lost her balance. And my mom, she will not let me cook. I could offer to cook her. I even offered to cook her breakfast when I got back home yesterday. Oh no, no. She just, she'd rather me go get her something. Car, you need to stay off my bumper. So, cause this is not exactly the best driving conditions. So anyway, the temperature is 28, mm -hmm. in case you're wondering. Anyway, mm -mm. she's fine for all sense and purposes. Now, I did not want to leave her, but I have to work on Mondays and, well, I say I have to. I mean, I guess they could let it go one week. I don't know. As far as the inventory, I'm not going down 421. Oh Lord, oh Lord. They've had to shut it down, it looks like. Well, they got an accident there, but they've shut it down. Anyway. Get back on here. Anyway, she's doing fine. We, we dodged a big one this time, I mean. The Lord was looking out for us this time because I saw it happen and I admit I was scared to death, but I was trying not to show it. And then her lifeline wouldn't work and that worries me because when I'm not home, I told her she's going to have to start carrying that phone in her pocket again. She used to do that all the time, but she's going to have to do it again. Cause she didn't have a lifeline when my stepdad was alive, but I made her carry the phone in her pocket all the time because he was not able to get her up. So she's back to carrying the phone with her all the time. Because yesterday, had I not been home, she had no phone with her. That lifeline would not work. I mean, I just, I don't, I don't want to think about it. So there won't be no trips for Vicki anymore. Not very long trips. I'll put it that way. Not no more than an hour. Okay, we'll get back onto more stuff that's a little bit better to talk about. I wonder if they've sanded here. Don't look like it. All right. Today's makeup is what I've been wearing the past few days. It's the
Estee Lauder Futurist Hydrating Rescue whatever it is foundation I think that it's what I need right now with the coldness and the heat being on even though I have oily skin but I, I still powder my nose and my I mean, I don't want to say, I, right now, I don't have oily skin. I have, I don't know what kind of skin I have right now. <laughs> anyway, it's not dry, but it's just a little parched, I guess, in places. All right, we're going to go right here. So far, so good, y'all. I don't know, it dropped a degree. And I don't have to travel 421. All right. Let's put this in an emergency break on. Okay. I'm wearing that foundation. I'm wearing the Hourglass and Jeffree Star Concealer Mixed because the Hourglass is just too dark right now. Um. I mean, I did compare it to the foundation, and it, I think, is darker than the foundation. But now, I did lighten up the foundation today with that white mixing pigment from, what's the name of that place? <laughs> LA Colors. I think that's what it is. And I always want to say NYC Colors, but they, they out of business. LA Colors, what I think it is. Then I use the Beauty For Real eyeshadow stick and the Naked Birkin from Christian Audet and Lisa and mascara today. This is the first day I've had on mascara since Thursday, I guess. And today, I, Marsha, she started talking about the Colossal, so I thought, I gotta find it. I got a, I got a wild hair. I'm, what have I got in my teeth? Nothing, I guess it's just my gap. Um, the Colossal, I mixed the Colossal, and then I added in the Maybelline Curvitude, Lash Sensational Curvitude, and it worked pretty well. I must say, the two of them together worked well. I've just got the Curvitude on my bottom lashes. My eyeliner is the Benefit Roller Lash Liner. I do like that liner. I mean, I think it's good. I don't think I like it better than the Patrick Star liner. No, I don't. I like the Patrick Star better. Now, I was going to order the Valentino, but it's $40. I don't need to buy no $40 eyeliner. I mean, I'm not going to this month anyway because I'm on a low buy. But I mean, even next month, I'm not buying no $40 liner. I just don't need it. That's ridiculous when I can buy something. It cannot be $40 better. I mean, that's $20 more or $21 more than the Patrick Star liner, one size. And I mean, it's what, $30 more than the Physician's Formula, who I like almost as well as the Patrick Star. And then you've got the Epic one. The only reason I don't, I'm not wearing the Epic one right now is it just seems so dark. And when it dries down, it just looks darker than these others. So anyway, that's why I'm not wearing it right now. And But the Kat Von D or the KVD one tattoo is just not the same anymore. I'm not buying that anymore. It's just not, but not buying it anymore. Uh, lipstick is Isla. And they got bought out. Well, no, they didn't get, well, yeah, they got bought out. <laughs> uh, the parent company that owns Clarins now has majority stake in them. That's what I'll say. They have majority stake in them. Um, I guess I need to go so I can call my mom and tell her I'm here. All right. I love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Bye.